Hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Jade Dragon. This is the new expansion for CK2 that uh, flushes out the eastern part of the map and also adds a lot of mechanics for interacting with China. Um, this isn't, I'm going to say up front, something that I really plan to be a long-term series. This is more of a, you know, let's, let's try out sort of thing as opposed to a let's play. Um, I don't think we're going to take it from 17 or from 769 all the way to 1453. Um, that being said, if you guys end up really enjoying this, obviously uh, there's a lot of room for me to change my mind. So if you want to see this keep going, uh, vote with your views. Otherwise, we're just going to run this for a week to show off the features of the, features of the new expansion. That's really what the purpose of this series is, and just kind of check it out. Um, and we're going to be playing as actually one of my favorite characters that already existed in CK2, um, the, the Kagan of the Karlukid Turks. Um, I really enjoy playing as the Karlukids and the, uh, the Yabguid Turks out on the steppe here. Um, but our goal is going to be to um, conquer the Tarim Basin, kind of settle down in the Tarim Basin... Um, dominate, you know, the Silk Road trade that goes through this area and um, hopefully get some interesting uh, interactions with the Chinese who are currently under, well, the Protectorate's under the Guo Dynasty. I guess we'll have to see. I, I'm trying to remember which dynasty was ruling China in the 700s, but I'm not a great expert on that. Oh, I forgot to set up my uh, forgot to set up my game rules, so I'm gonna pause the game and do this, so you guys don't have to watch me do this because I have a fairly specific way I like to have things. Okay, got the game rules set up and we are ready to go. Welcome to CK2, Carlook Tingri Nomadic. Um, we do start as a uh, tributary of the Uyghur Kaganate, um, but not for long. So the first thing we're gonna do. Um, is we are going to we could fight the Pechenegs. I don't think we're going to fight the Pechenegs just yet. Let's clear all our flags first. Oh. <laughs> I still have the Bill Worth sound mod <laughs> enabled. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm going to turn that off. Funny as it would be. Okay, now we're ready to go. <laughs> um... We're going to worship the ancestors. Um, give, guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my enemies. Well, so here's the... Okay, so it's the Tong dynasty is currently in power. Li Daizong is currently the emperor. Uh, let's see. So we can raid the Tang Empire. The Tong Empire. Interesting. Uh, temporarily disable all pay tribute and ask for boon interactions for as long as the raid persists, and then five years after that. Uh, we'll lose grace but gain loot and spoils every year. Cool. Um, portion of your soldiers will be unable, unavailable for the duration. Um, they like tributaries. They dislike Tibetans. I can kind of see why. Tibet is, like, mega powerful. In 769, I had no idea they were actually that powerful in this time period. Um, if we want to invade them, we have to have count title. We have to have at least 50 count tier titles in our realm. We have to be bordering the Western Protectorate or the eastern edge of the map. Um, and Tong Empire has to have. Stable or Golden Age? Interesting. So they're currently experiencing unrest. Civil unrest runs rampant in the Tong Empire, and it has thrown trade routes with the East into disarray. China's armies are occupied internally in an attempt to keep the peace, and unless unrest is quelled soon, a full-blown civil war may erupt at any moment. Value of the Silk Road decreased by 25%. Imperial tributaries cannot raise Chinese regiments to help them, um, and they are currently open... So the Silk Road is open. Um, interesting. So I'm definitely going to want to receive news from them. Shows the government of tributaries and diplomatic. So I guess the blue is everybody within range of them, maybe? Maybe. 
Yeah, okay. And then we can see there. So can I see his court? Okay, cool. Yeah, I've, I've really never played this at all up until now. So he's Han Chinese. Taoist. Gives you plus two stewardship. Can take up to three concubines. Designate any valid offspring's heir. No religious head, no holy wars. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. So I think, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start invading some of these smaller states around the Tarim Basin area. This guy has 946 levies to call on. This guy has 706, so I think we'll go after him first. Um, Kurmaz, Mazda, that's a new, that's the new um, Zoroastrian heresy, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's the Sogdian version of Zoroastrianism. We'll probably end up going either Buddhist or maybe Monachian. I haven't really decided yet. I don't think we want to stay Tengri because we're not going to play the big step blob. So uh, We could create a duchy, but that's not really important as nomads. We should get married, though. Um... So I'm going to do, we want women, we want them to not already be married, they do need to be in Diplo range, they need to be in my religion group, I'm going to look for any genius, no geniuses, any quick, looks like we have a 70 year old and a 16 year old, there we go. And then let's find maybe some strong concubines. Uh, take concubine, there we go. How about uh, lustful? Give us lots of sons. Good stewardship. Take as a concubine. Take concubine, all right, cool. And our heir is unmarried, so maybe we should have saved some of those girls for him. Uh, range marriage to our son. There you go. Now oh, she has terrible stewardship. Oh well. Pick an ambition. Um, I'd like to become exalted among men. That'd be a good thing. We're going to do warfare focus to start out, obviously. We could settle as feudal already, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think we want to do that. Um, actually, can I revoke his title? Power base relaxants. 50 prestige. Do we have other non-nomad vassals? I don't think we do, no. All right, well, let's build up our army a little bit first. Also, we need to grant designated regent to somebody who's not an idiot, like this guy. Does he hate us by any chance? No, he doesn't. Okay, um, yeah, let's build up our army here. So we want to mainly rely on horse archers. And I'm going to go up to speed 5. I'm also going to turn the volume down just a little bit. I think the game sound is a little loud. Uh, whoop, that's message settings. Options, audio, master. Well, maybe it won't let us do that. Oh well. You asked your ancestors for military power and prowess in battle. Now it's time to present an offering. Um, yeah, we'll give them a soul for the afterlife. Well, that's CK2 for you. It seems my interest in Christendom has come to the attention of one of its practitioners within the realm. We met and have had most fruitful discussions. And my sympathy towards Christian? Oh yeah, Zoroastrian, Christian, and Islam. Interesting, okay. 
cool, cool. We got married. Let's get the prestige from that. Got married. Cool. All right, news from China. The period of unrest in China has dramatically worsened. China has recently been suffering from droughts and the people are starving as a great famine upsets the harmony in the divine land. The caravans and ships of the Silk Road have virtually ceased and the great Chinese artisans are simply trying to survive. China will not be able to assist its tributary states. So, great famine. Silk Road is reduced by 75%. Tributaries cannot count on China. My studies and training have taught me the general tactics of flanks and center, but I can hardly master everything. We're going to be a direct leader. Um, except... Get, get, get married. Get, fine, quick... Raw, lustful, there you go, her, marry her. Need a new spy master, my concubine will do. Awesome. Okay, we should. Oh shit, the petching eggs. Petching eggs are making some moves. Um... Ilgay, Pulad. Do we have enough? We probably can just conquer him, right? So, pagans and nomads conquer single border counties. Invasion of Khotan, that's what we actually want. Uh, we need at least 100 prestige, which we're at minus 184. And we need 30,000 population, which we're not even close. Um, subordination CB, we need more prestige. Um, well, let's see, it looks like we can't do that right now. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the regular conquest CB for now. All right, that was easy. Actually, we should go down to speed three since we're at war. Yeah, we can call in our nomad vassal here. Oh, you can't join the war? Great, asshole. We request your honor obligations to answer this call to war. Mongolian revolt. Nope, you can fuck off. Um, we have a rash. That's unfortunate. I don't really like rashes. Um, non-aggression pact with the Bajanid Emirate. Um, sure. We will not aggress you for the moment. Concubine is pregnant. So I think before we settle down, we want to control most of the kingdom of Catan. That should be our goal. So we don't actually really need to conquer these guys unless we want some extra territory. All right, we won the war. Nice. Clans want more land, all right. We could... give them this. Yeah, let's give them Grant. Landed title. There you go. Too many holdings in our personal domain. 
Oh yeah, we can pillage shit. Yeah, let's just let's just pillage everything. That'll do. One of my commanders has improved significantly. Okay. Um, now I think we want to go after Fergana. We have a claim on it, too. It'd be nice if we could just invade. Um, press the claim. Because I think Conquest works better, doesn't it? Council's discontent. Don't really care. We're gonna have a speed three here. Can't tell if that's a new model or not. Horse archers OP. Actually, this could be kind of close-ish. And I'm maimed. And I have only one hand now. Well, you know what they say, a hand is a small price to pay for conquest. Somebody probably said that at some point. And I have a strong son. You know, losing a hand isn't that bad when you have a strong son. And we got rid of our rash. Maybe it was on our hand, which got cut off. No longer severely injured, so we got a badass scar. Um, the Manichaeans. Okay, tell us more of our must. I actually like Manichaeanism. Stop pestering me. I don't like that Manichaeanism is represented as a Zoroastrian heresy. Because it really has as much right to be represented as a full religion as any other... <laughs> full religion in CK2, but, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can, yep, couldn't quite end the siege, but we'll probably catch up to him. Get out of our land! Go home away from our land. All right. Guess I should go back to regular. Why is it called Yagul Kahar now? It's not the name of my dynasty, is it? I don't know why the name of the country changed. So are we no longer paying tribute then? Let's see, Nomad Tributary. Oh, so we're paying tribute to this asshole? Is that what's going on? Who are the Yagkalar? Okay. Oh, the Yagkalar clan? I don't know what's going on. This is this is weirdness. New expansion weirdness. Man has brought in shackles before me. He's a uh, missionary from the Pratihara Kingdom. Um, yeah, we'll let him stay. Western Protectorate is sending missionaries to us now. I've never played Taoist before, so yeah, tell tell me about the three purities. Horde swarms into the holdings of Osh, and the walls crumble and fall. They're intent on plundering, but won't go ahead unless you, their cog, can give them permission to do so. Bring back the spoils. Bring them on back. History is a subject that has always fascinated you. Hey, this game knows me. And you've spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of Alexander the Great. There are many lessons to be learned from his conquests in the East. I don't really know that um, the uh, Turkic tribes up here would be able to read Alexander the Great in a language they understand in 772, but okay. Hindu court physician keeps talking about his religion. Um, eh, 
I've I've done Hindu nomads before. I kind of want to maybe do something different, like Manichaean, maybe. All right, let's chase this guy down. Teach him to lead the center. Nice. Did we die? Our air died. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Offer peace, enforce demands. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we are gonna pillage everything. Pillage, 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 pillage. All right. Good deal. So, do we still have a truce with this guy? Yes, we still have a truce with him until... October of 777. Um, we could start conquering this dude, though. Let's see, can we build any more armies? We get some more horse archers in here. Actually, I'm going to remove any regiments that are not horse archers. Oh, this is the... Okay, gotcha. So this is... I forgot there's like two different types of horse archer retinues, I think. The rest of my sons were nowhere near the abilities of Bilgay. He knew how to handle a sword and would have been a great Kagan after my death. Um... I have other sons. Maybe one of them could be worthy. Let's let's start, try to have another son. Uh, we need another spy master. Don't really have any great options. I'll go with the guy who doesn't hate me. And uh, yeah, you can be an advisor. Why not? Wife is pregnant. Good deal. Uh, work can be tedious. I can rest in heaven. Or wherever. Excellent. Let's declare war. Let's get some conquests going on. Looted, ravaged. It's all great. The clans want more land, though. So I'll keep giving them roughly contiguous areas. Guess I'm being a little dangerous here by not um, creating more clans. Oh, we can only have two clans at this point anyway, so never mind. We're fine. We're being plenty efficient. All right. This should be over quickly. Have a daughter now. We can appoint a new commander. This Hindu guy is not very good at it, but he's better than not having one. We're going to offer peace. We're going to enforce our demands. Okay, let's, let's figure out where we actually want to settle as feudal. Probably here. Is there anyone else that has that many holding slots? Within the, uh, within the du jour kingdom here. Okay, so we won't pillage Utian because that's going to be our place that we actually settle. Alright. So I guess we just get to chill for a little while now, because truce timers and all that. Oh yeah, pillage. Pillage, pillage, good deal.
Let's see what's going on elsewhere. The Bozox have conquered the, uh, the, uh, Yobguids, which is interesting. Charlemagne probably inherited from his brother. Oh, wow. Charlemagne's dead already? There's, oh, this is Carloman's son. So what happened to Charlemagne? He died in battle against the Sheik of Porto. And he has one legitimate son. But yeah, Carloman's son, who is a child, is now the uh, the king of the Franks. So go figure. News of unrest in Choi. That's unfortunate. News from China. The Great Famine is finally over. Popular uprisings have broken out in Luoyang, and large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms led by militant mobs. Trade has been halved along the Silk Road. China will not be able to defend its tributaries. So we have unrest once again. Um, your wife has asked you to consider her for the position of marshal. Yeah, go for it. Organize the army or whatever. Have a grandson now, so succession is fairly safe from the looks of things. B has continued preaching his religion. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Let's become Taoist. Why not? Oh, look, we got a new interface. All right, so let's see what, what this is all about. So we can have up to three concubines, designate any valid offspring as heir. There isn't... Okay, so... Pulad is currently my heir, but he's totally incompetent. So let's... Designate him as my heir. Um, maybe he needs to be older. I don't know. Galvokine, primogeniture, ultimogeniture, or open. What is our current... Okay, so since it's nomadic succession, that overrides Taoism, I guess. This isn't actually a new interface. I think this is the existing Eastern religion interface. Do we have any new def decisions we can make? So to stop paying tribute, prestige must be less than zero um, or greater than or equal to zero. Not a tributary state. Not nomadic. Okay. So let's see. Let's let's turn some of these on important. These sound kind of cool. Um, let's choose a Taoist school. Uh, so, strengthen myself with spells and magic, martial and intrigue, national revolt risk minus two, and we lose two diplomacy. Um, to pursue perfection through discipline. Uh, I don't really like that. Infuse my spirit with wisdom. Let's strengthen ourselves with spells and magic. I have sympathy for, like, every religion group right now. Um, let's, let's choose ourselves a warhorse. We name him Sky. And we're gonna write a book. Compose a work of literature is not an undertaking for everyone. Having spent a lot of time thinking it over, I've summoned my closest advisors and fetched the best scribes. When they ask me what this work shall be focused on, Pause for only a second. Uh, complexity of war, intricacies of relationship, chronicle of my family history. Let's write a book about war, obviously. We're also going to search for a smith. Um, and I'm going to need a weapon smith. Two more years until our truce is up. My Jingjun, Sima Ilke, has told me about a remarkable weapon smith residing in Artux. Suggested I invite this man to my court. Um, yeah. 
Bring him in. Uh, he had assured me the weaponsmith's craftsmanship left nothing to be desired. I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Asip and gestured towards his numerous assistants while carried examples of his work. Um, sword, lance, an axe. Let's get a bow. We're, we're a horse archer here. A bow, I see. An excellent choice, my Kagan, said Master Asip, and calls for an assistant cradling three bows in his arms. We have three examples of different quality levels here. One must determine what he needs and how much one is willing to pay. However, they would all serve your highness well. Um, let's see. Effective. Plus 7.5 7 to mounted troops. Yeah, let's, let's go for the nicer one. Like it. 